Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to sync up a Canon C300 or C500 to an external generator. Before we get started, let's take a brief look at the required gear. Of course, you'll need a camera. A timecode capable audio recorder with built-in locket circuitry or with an external locket. A locket device. An LTC out and BNC50 cable. The first step is to set up the C300 so that it continuously takes the locket timecode and genlock synchronization. As you get started, check and adjust the area settings. To do so, press the menu button. Go down to the function settings and then scroll down and select the project area where your time base is used. In our case, production wants to shoot with 23.98 frames per second, so we need to make certain the camera is set to NTSC. This will restart the system with the new system time base, so don't panic when the monitor blacks out. The next thing to enter into the C300 is the project time base. So press the menu button and go to the other functions menu. Then scroll down to the frame rates menu. As we're in the NTSC mode, we can only choose from the NTSC rates. And we'll set the camera to 23.98p. Then go back to the main menu, scroll up to the timecode user bits menu, and press enter. Switch the timecode mode to preset so the camera reads the external timecode, and change the run mode to free run. Last but not least, we need to switch the TC in out soft switch to the in position. Otherwise, the BNC connector will output the camera timecode instead of reading the locket timecode. Now the C300 is all set up for external synchronization, so let's move on and set up the locket device. When you start an ambient locket from factory default, it will always boot unjammed in internal generator mode with sync switched off. So the first thing we should decide is the running mode of the unit. Internal generator should be used if you just want to jam sync the locket without ACN. Continuous jam or C jam is used if you want to use the ACN for zero drift wireless synchronization. And TRX is used for wireless record run timecode setups. We want to use C jam being the most convenient and accurate mode. For timecode without Genlock, we go to the timecode menu and choose our project time base frame rate. But as we want to use Genlock Sync, we'll go to the Sync menu, choose 1080p, and our project time base frame rate as our sync setting. The timecode frame rate will automatically match up at 23.98 frames per second. Since we're using the CGM mode, the ACN is already enabled and working per factory default on channel 18. If for some reason you'd like to work on a different channel or use some of the features of the extended menu, jump into the ACN menu and set up your network as required. Finally, we need to jam sync our locket boxes. This can be done the old way via cable from our timecode master source if you're using the internal timecode mode. Of course, you should make sure that the source is jammed correctly first. With Continuous Jam, you can use any ACN device as timecode master. As you get started, simply jam the master or edit the start timecode, then go to the ACN menu, jump to the sync menu, and start the CJAM broadcast. You will get immediate feedback on how many ACN units were jammed successfully. Although you can use any ACN device as master, we want to use the master locket to wirelessly jam sync all units. Thanks to its web interface, this device offers powerful visual feedback and direct control of all ACN units in our network. To access the web interface, open the browser of any device connected to the Wi-Fi of the master and go to the domain masterlocket.local or 10.0.0.1. Now go to the timecode tab and change the frame rate of the unit to the project time base by clicking on the pencil and choosing from the drop-down menu and apply. Type in the required start value or simply use the time of day from your device. Check to make sure the master is set to the same ACN channel as your other locket devices and hit the start CJAM button. Within a few seconds, all your ACN devices should appear green on the screen, ready for naming, displaying the battery status, and the current frame rate. 
Now we can connect our synced locket with the Canon camera. The F that's on the right side of the timecode in the upper right corner of the display will change to an E for external. After a brief time, the camera will lock on to the external Genlock sync and it's normal that the display will flicker for a moment. When the Canon is locked, Gen will appear to the left of the timecode. When your system is synced like this, your cameras will run for a whole shooting day without drift. In addition, we strongly recommend that you check the synchronization of your system to avoid any issues.